Chair, thanks. The gentleman recognizes the gentleman from Allegheny County, Representative Saccone, on the question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, some of my objections are more basic than what's been outlined here so far. We're all familiar with the, the First Amendment, and we cherish the Second Amendment, but sometimes we, we neglect or we overlook the importance of the Fourth Amendment. I just want you to hear these words. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects from unreasonable search and seizure shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, particularly describing the place to be searched or the persons or things to be seized. Mr. Speaker, our Founding Fathers carefully crafted those words to protect us from unwanted government intrusion. And I say today that we have to be very careful that we don't give up those personal liberties under the guise of increasing our security. Now, Mr. Speaker, this bill has many positive aspects to it. And I do agree with some of the negative aspects outlined by my good colleague from Lancaster County. And as to the argument that, well, 38 other states have, have a different standard, I want to tell you that the standard is the Fourth Amendment, not the privacy in 38 other states. <clears throat> but having said that, as my good colleague from Washington County just pointed out, I've been assured that some of these concerns have been taken care of or will be taken care of. And the many positive aspects, and this bill is a complicated bill, the many positive aspects of it, I think, make it important that we do support this bill at this time. But I promise you that I will keep my eye on this process to make sure that our civil liberties are protected. So I will be supporting this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Chair, thanks the gentleman.